Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. So welcome to your first day of class here at Independence University. Um, this walkthrough is just going to show you a little bit about where to find things, what's important, what I want you to do today, as well as what will be due this week. So just kind of guide you through. Now, I already have Mozilla Firefox pulled up. Mozilla Firefox, as you know from orientation, is the, um, the web browser that works the best with the website that hosts our classroom. Uh, it's the least glitchy. However, it can work with any browser, but I'm going to show you on Mozilla. So I already have Mozilla pulled up. And that email um, you got from your student advisor with your username and password should also have the link to your class. Once you click on it, it will take you to this page. Now I have it bookmarked. You'll also want to bookmark it as well. Um, just for fast reference, you can just go straight into it. <clears throat> And then that way you don't have to go through all of your emails to find your classroom. So this is the first page you'll come to. And you're going to type in your user ID, which should be the uh, your first name and last name. First name, dot your last name, all lowercase. And your password should be your zip code. But if it's different, your student advisor should uh, have that in your email. I'm going to use the uh, demo for us today. So when you first get in, you'll see um, you know, probably some announcements, things like that. And you'll come down. Yours will look a little different. Yours will have another box like this. It'll say special courses. You're going to ignore these special courses. These are just um, like extra credit reviews, things like that. Or not extra credit, excuse me. They're just reviews. And um, they don't go towards your transcript or your grade. So that's for you. If you'd like them, they're free. Now, normally, this link here, the CSS 101, will be under a different box, and it'll say Mod, and then it will say CSS 101. That's the one you're going to click on. That's the one that has the homework that will also have your grade. So we're going to click CSS 101, and then you'll come to this page. Now, as you know from orientation, this is your home page. Uh, your announcements will be here. This is where your teacher is going to um, you know, have an intro to herself, tell you about due dates, tell you about when tutors are available, uh, updates when grades are ready. You'll want to check this probably, you know, once a day, maybe every other day, just to make sure there's nothing new. Up here, this is where you're going to find your grade when you have turned stuff in. So you'll click on grade book, and it will show you a breakdown of, I turned in this. This is, what, this is the uh, grade I got. You can also click on your grades. So for instance, in week one, scavenger hunt for this demo class, uh, the practice test, someone got 24 out of 100. You can click on it, and it will have a breakdown here and a grading summary. Sometimes, so it'll show you things. Now, sometimes your teacher will write, like an, it'll be a box here, and she'll write you a note like, good job on this, but next time use this punctuation for higher points. If you want to return it in, you can, or whatever it is that she'll say, so you can check your grades there. Now uh, you also have an emailing function. So the email, you'll click on your teacher's name, add, which will be here in the recipients. You'll type in um, don't understand, late work, I don't know, whatever it is you're typing about, and then just write her a note here. Doc sharing is where you'll have your study guides. So for instance, the scavenger hunt questions are here. You'll When you click on it, it will pop that up, you'll click OK, and it will download here. So you should be able to open that. And that's your study guide. Or, you know, sometimes she'll have lists, she'll have templates, she'll have all kinds of things here. And then Dropbox is where you'll turn in your homework, but that will go over, um, you won't be using until a little later on in the week. So I'm going to go back to Course Home. So we're back on Course Home now. So there are a few things that I want you guys to do. There are three things I want you guys to do today. And then there are three things that are due this week. So the first one of those things is going to be your daily checkpoint. Now remember, the daily checkpoints, you have to have four right a week. And um, anything above four that you get correct is extra credit. And it's the only way you can get extra credit. So if you come over here to the left, you have week one, week two, week three, week four. That's your homework. And then you have daily checkpoints. So you'll click daily checkpoints. Now you see how this bar is here um, and how it says week one Monday, week one Tuesday, so on and so forth. If you scroll down, 
you should have a daily checkpoint for every single day that you'll be in class this month. Um, you can only do daily checkpoints for that day. So, for instance, if it's Tuesday, I couldn't go back and do Monday, but I couldn't go forward and do Wednesday. I can only do Tuesday, and that's midnight, mountain time, mountain standard time to mountain standard time. So, your daily checkpoint. Now, if this bar isn't here, if sometimes it disappears. I don't know why, but if you'll click where the bar should be, it should show up. So, you'll have this here. Now, you, to start your daily checkpoint, you're going to go to week one, Monday. Click on it. You see this little pirate lady. Now, because it's the demo, it's not going to let me take it, but it's going to tell you up here you have one, you can take this exam once, um, you have an hour. You shouldn't need an hour, though. It's pretty quick. Uh, and then there will be a button down here that says begin daily checkpoint. You'll click it. There will be another screen that explains some more instructions. And then again, it will say begin daily checkpoint where this is. You'll click it again, and then you'll go ahead and start. Now, your daily checkpoints, typically only a couple paragraphs and one question. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to read the question first, then read the paragraph, answer the question. You'll click Save, then Submit. So daily checkpoint I want you to do today. It counts as your attendance quiz, which remember you have to log in four times a week or more to stay in class every single week. And these are one of the few things you can do from your phone. So if you're at the doctor's office or standing in line somewhere, get on your phone, pop into class, do a daily checkpoint, and then go home and do some homework. So daily checkpoint again, click begin, click begin again, read and answer the questions, you'll click save, and then you'll click submit. So that's how you'll do a daily checkpoint. And then you'll do one for every day. Now once you're done with that, which should only take you maybe 10, 20 minutes depending on your reading speed. The other thing that I want you to do is you're going to go into week one. Once you're in week one, you're going to see discussion, understand self. So this is the homework. Introduce yourself isn't graded. You're free to do that, but for sure I want you to do discussion, understand self. So you'll see this. You'll click on discussion, and it'll bring you to this page. Now it doesn't have, here we go, so it'll have the instructions here as well as how to do the discussion, but I'm going to show you really quick. So um, just like in orientation it goes over, you'll have three things to do for the discussion. Your main post, and then you have to respond to at least two other students. Your main post needs to be 150 words, which is about 8 to 10 sentences, and your responses should be 50 words, which is like 4 to 6 sentences, depending on your sentence length. Now, the main post is what will be due first thing every single week in almost every one of your classes. So that's why I say always do your discussion, your main discussion on Monday. Do your two replies on Tuesday. Just get those out of the way. So we'll come down here. And you can read the instructions, and I want you to do that on your own. I'm just going to paraphrase this really quick. So you have two options. You can write about this quote by Alexander Grand Bell about open and closed doors, regrets. And then um, you'll read these questions here, because uh, she'll tell you, you know, uh, please use an example of a closed door and how you learn to overcome it. What opportunities are open to you now you're in school, so on and so forth. You can write on that. That's usually the fastest option. But you do have another option. You can take the uh, personality test, Myron Briggs personality test, and then write about your personality type. The personality test is like 50 questions long, so it's kind of a little longer, but that one can be really fun too. doesn't matter which one you choose, just pick one. So when you've read through, you've decided, you know what you're going to say, you're going to click this one. You see here where it has little green plus arrow, you click respond, and it's going to take you to another page. So the other page will have the, the instructions again, and then this is where you'll type in your words. But you'll use real, real words. <laughs> So, hello. Yeah. Hey, Shavy. Da 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 da. So you'll just type it like that and um, go forward. Now, I want you to notice there's a spell check here. And picks up on my name and it says that's wrong, but you know that is how we spell my name, so we're just going to click ignore. But you can do spell check and I suggest you do, um, just because it is college, so you want to make sure you use best spelling, best grammar that you can, 
and um, I like to open up a second tab here. Sometimes if I don't know how to spell a word, and I'll go to Google and I'll type in as close as I know how to spell it, and usually that will get it for me as well. But you can do that however you choose. Just make sure you have 150 words. When you're done, you're going to click Post Response, and it should post. Now that you do your main post, and that's what I want you to do today. So so far today, you're going to do a daily checkpoint, and going to do your main post for the discussion. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to show you how to do a student reply. So tomorrow, to Tuesday or Wednesday, you're going to respond to your other students. You're going to find one or two of somebody else's who have already answered. So that's why you'll find these down here. You're going to click this little um, thing that says expand. And then you can see their whole post. So you'll read through it, and you're going to click this button to respond. And it'll do the same thing. It'll take you back to this one, so you're responding to someone else's. Now, when you're responding to other students, uh, you know, keep it class professional kind of thing, just kind of light, like, oh, you know, that's really great. I can see how you'd think that, or that's really interesting that you already know that about your personality. My personality, I know this about myself. That will make you a great worker, or I don't know, whatever it is you want to say, as well as in your main post that you do. Feel free to go into as much detail or as vague as you'd like, you know, just whatever makes you comfortable, but again, make sure that it's class appropriate. Okay, so the two other things that you're going to do this week, so not necessarily today, but this week, is the scavenger hunt, which is a test. Now remember to read your instructions. So when you see here the scavenger hunt, it says go to doc sharing, download the Word document. That's the one I showed you earlier that we actually downloaded. Um, it's a study guide, and then watch the live lecture. It'll also tell you how many questions the test is, how many times you can take it, how long you have, things like that. And then the APA paper template is something you'll also do this week, and the instructions are here. There is an APA paper template document, like a, like a template that you can see. I suggest downloading this and editing it, because that way it already has the margins and everything set, but you're free to do it from scratch as well. Before you do these two, so before you do the test, before you do attempt the um, paper template, I want you to watch your live lecture. Now that's the third thing I want you to do today. So to get to your live lecture, you're going to go to Virtual Classroom. So we'll click on Virtual Classroom, and it'll take you to this page. Now the lady with the futuristic computer, it'll tell you um, just a brief summary. And then you'll also see this here. Yours is going to be different than this time. Every class, every teacher might be a little bit different. This one is Monday at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Yours may be a different day, different times throughout the day. So check your live lecture, or your live classroom, virtual classroom, for your live lecture. The first link will always be the live link. The second one's always recorded. Remember, your live lectures are mandatory, but you can go to either the live or recorded session. doesn't really matter. But the live session, you can interact with your teacher. So that's pretty valuable. So if it was 5.30 Mountain Time, my time, which is Mountain Time, might be different in your time, we'd click here to attend the live session. It'll take us to Blackboard Collaborate. Now, um, it's going to have you type in your name. So, oops, Shaylee. And then you'll click Log In. And it should launch like this. Now, if it doesn't launch like this, it may prompt you to update your Java or nothing may happen, you might need to update your Java on your own. If you have our laptops, you can call the um, IT, the student tech support number, which is 866-888-3768, and they can help you if you're having a hard time downloading Java. If not, uh, give your student advisor or admissions consultant a call, and they'll give, get you over to the student advisors. So we'd click OK. And it's downloading here, but it should run on its own. And you guys can't see it because it's on my second screen, but a little box with Java 7 just popped up, and it has like the dots. It's loading up, basically. Now, if you try to go to the live session um, when it's not the time, for instance, right now, there's going to be nobody in there, it will load up, but there's not really going to be anybody in there. So um, there, it'll just give us kind of like a blank empty screen. 
So you'll see this, and it may take it a minute to, I'm going to cancel it. So, okay, so then this will pop up and you'll want to say run. Now yours may pop up in a box. Yours may come down here at the bottom and say, do you want to run this application? You'll just click run or yes. Now I'm not going to because uh, I need to also show you guys the recorded one. So we'll get out of that. So because it's not the time, we're actually going to come here to the recorded one. And you're going to see these. Now this has all four recordings in it because it's the demo. Um, yours should only have one unless you go next week then it'll have two. So you'll always want to go to the number that matches the week you're in or the one that you missed. And then you'll come over here to this little purple circle with the arrows in it. And we're going to click that for Blackboard and it'll take us to that same screen. There we go. So you'll notice in this one it has the names, but it also wants your email. So we'll do that. And then we're going to click View Recording. Same thing, this should pop up. If it doesn't, Java may, you may need to update to Java 7. Uh, you can just go straight to the Java website and download it, or it may prompt you to download it. Okay, we'll click Run, and I'm just going to show you really quick what it will look like. Now, with your Blackboard Collaborate, um, you're, you'll be able to hear your teacher, and if you're at the live session, they won't be able to hear you. You'll only be able to chat to them. Um, the recorded one, obviously, you're just going to be able to watch. But you'll want headphones or speakers to make sure that you can hear them. Okay, so this is what your Blackboard Collaborate will look like. You'll have audio, video, participants. It'll show who was there, as well as the chat box down here. And um, typically, your teachers will have a slideshow. So it's just downloading. Playback will begin shortly. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. This is what it will look like. It should start playing automatically. If it doesn't, you'll hit this play button down here. Okay. All right. So, those are the three things I want you to do today. Watch your virtual classroom. So, you know, um, if it is today, if it's not today, make sure you watch it when it's live or the recorded session. I want you to do the discussion understanding self and the daily checkpoint. Those are the three things that I want to make sure you guys do today. And then remember, the three things that are due this week is the whole discussion, so main repost and then the two student replies, as well as the scavenger hunt and the APA paper, which these two you won't do until after you watch your live lecture. Now there's just one other thing I want to show you guys, and that's how to get to the um, tutors. So that way, if you guys need help for whatever reason, if you can't get a hold of a student advisor, you'll be able to get some help in the tutoring center. Now the tutoring center is located under here under course. You're going to go to Shark with a C. And uh, you'll see if you did the early admissions course, you'll recognize the screen. If not, this is also where your library is. But you'll go to tutoring center here on the left. You click tutoring center and then you'll see this screen. Now you're going to have tutors available to you in every single one of your classes for free. Um, your whole time with us. If you have children, you'll also have the K through 12 tutors here, as well as the writing lab if you need some help. But because most of you should be in CSS 101, it is our largest class, it has its own section right there. So you're just going to go to the very top, to the right. When you click on your um, section or you know class, it'll give you a time schedule. So you'll see Mondays, they're there 12 to 3. But Fridays, they're there from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. or whatever the time schedule is. Fridays, they're usually there for a long time. Now, this is in Mountain Standard Time. So again, remember, you'll probably have to convert it to your time zone. But once you know that they'll be there, 
you'll go ahead and click enter tutoring lab and it'll take you back to this blackboard thing again so same thing with the tutors you'll be able to hear them they won't be able to hear you but they can screen share with you so it'll make it really easy like if you have a paper or you're having trouble finding something they can absolutely help you it's a great resource so make sure you guys use that um, again just type in your name click log in and it'll take you there if you're confused and you don't know which one to pick feel free you can just click this general one and it will take you to the general tutoring center and then they can guide you from there so again make sure you use your tutoring uh, lab it is one of the best resources I love it it's great the tutors in there are instructors they're experts in the field so they definitely know what they're doing so um, that's it for today so make sure you do those three things for Monday as well as you make sure you do your three things for the week um, now there are two numbers I want to go over and that's I'm going to say the IT tech number again which is 866-888-3768 um, remember give that number a call if you're having trouble with the laptop we sent you they are our experts they can help you out now if you're having issue with the website itself you're in Mozilla Firefox for whatever reason things aren't showing up things aren't working but your internet's working just fine you can also call the Learning Studio Help Desk, which the Learning Studio is what we host this through. They are 24-7, and their number is 855-880-3118. Again, 885-880-3118. Or excuse me, 855-880-3118. Again, Learning Studio is 855-880-3118. All right, and if you guys have any other questions, feel free to contact your admissions consultants. Uh, they can get you over to a student advisor, but besides that, you should be hearing from your student advisor either today or tomorrow um, just to check on you, make sure your logins are working, everything like that. If you do have any issues with your logins, make sure your uh, admissions consultants know. Uh, you got to log in those four days, so we want to make sure that your logins are working. And thank you so much for joining me. Good luck in class, and I'm looking forward to working with y'all.